Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and select or sorry I'm open your banger a new exclusivity you will definitely be notified so guys i want to say big shout out to each and every one of you big thanks uh, to each and every one of you for supporting the channel it is very essential that you do so so that we can keep updating you guys and give you guys the new latest news of course we have a lot of things coming up but it is fight week can you believe it october 28th is just this weekend this upcoming weekend and we all know that the big fight ahead is between Tyson the Gypsy Queen Fury and Francis the Predictor Ngannou we know that this fight is going to be interesting it's going to be big and the over let, let's say the major like the favorite in this fight is Tyson Fury. I mean, a lot of people are just giving him the edge and th saying that he he has this fight, you know, in the bag. Like literally, Francis Gano can't do anything to him, can't knock him out. Tyson Fury, there's this invincibility that has been built around him, which I think is crazy anyway. Because Fury is vulnerable. Like Fury is not invincible. Fury can be beaten. Fury has been beaten in the past, okay? He just got away with the win because of his name and favoritism, you know what I mean? So let's keep it right here. If we should, we should go back. Come on, we know who beat Fury. Facts. And this was even before he fought Vladimir Klitschko. But let's not dive too back like that. Let's just get straight to this fight and what could happen. Now, Ngannou is taking this fight serious. And he's not joking about the guy is in a monster shape as he always is but i have been literally i have taken a very keen interest in both fighters i say i respect fury for one thing um for being for make for being a little bit like outspoken and making people think that he's invincible but he knows himself that his weakness is very there like is like fear weakness is visible to even to the blind to see because fury in my opinion in as much as he's got all these attributes in as much as he's very mobile for a, a six eight you know six seven guy or six nine as he claims to be he's not six nine anyway six eight six seven max but in as much as He's got all these reflexes and stuff like that for a big guy. Fury is vulnerable to the body. And I've been watching uh, the clips of Francis Sugano. You know, clips of him training with Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is not a renowned trainer. He's, a, he's a, of course, a legendary fighter, a boxer. But he's not a renowned trainer. But the style, pick a boo. I always wondered, how would a Mike Tyson fit against Tyson Fury? I know you guys will say, yo, Fury is a bigger man, he's a firm mobile, he beats Tyson, he beats Tyson, um, he beats Mike Tyson. Let me tell you right now, Mike Tyson will reap the head, will, will, would reap Fury's head off because Fury is vulnerable to, to short guys. Fury got dropped by Steve Cunningham. Are we, not, are we forgetting that? Or uh, 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 Cruiserweight for that matter. Fury fights better when he fights the bigger guys he fights better when he fights guys that are six 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 seven like Deontay Water, six six like uh, uh Vladimir Klitschko and you know guys like maybe he would do even better than uh, he, he would do it better against Joshua because he knows what to expect but the short guys the short boxers I'm, I'm not talking about uh Usyk Usyk is not Usyk is a very is a small uh, small heavyweight however he only has keys but not power so 
I don't think Fury would be afraid of Usyk's power or what's coming coming back because Usyk doesn't really pose a threat in terms of like like surprising taking Fury um, by surprise. He cannot take Fury by surprise because his power won't be enough to do anything to Fury like that. But a guy like Mike Tyson, bro, will rip Fury's head off because every pro every punch he throws is like is is with meanness basically is meant to make you die f- like f- 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 factors bro and now if we also have to look at the f- of the fury fight against Otto wallen let's also measure with that Otto wallen well should have won that fight facts okay that of if if it if the opposite was the, was the case Fury would have been the winner. Like the referee would have stepped in and stopped the fight already. But the fight wasn't stopped because Fury has always been treated as the favorite. Even the last fight um um of his brother, Tommy Fury, against KSI. We all saw we all know KSI literally. At least that fight would have been a should have been a draw. Okay. Like it should have been a draw. Uh Tommy Fury didn't win that fight at all. Okay. He landed about nine punches and the holes his round and he got deducted the point. So how did he win the how did the judge, how did the judges give him all the rounds? They even gave him round one and two. How is that possible? The fight that I watched? That just shows you the name Fury is a very is a protected co- a commodity. Like he's very protected. So this is why I say boxing is just sometimes corrupt and I'm kind of getting fed up a little bit but I'm used to this game anyway. In the case of Franz Lugano, Franz Lugano is a giant of a man. Um, Fury would definitely do like if this fight, I think this fight would be very difficult for Gano because Gano um, is an enemy fighter. Okay. Uh, boxing, you need a lot of endurance. Gano would definitely gas out in round three, four, maybe five, and it all depends what what Gano can show. If Gano can cause uh, Gano can cause conserve his energy for the first three to four rounds, and like I said, he needs to target Tassifuri's body, you know, because guys like this, you can knock them down. Fury is not, he doesn't have the biggest chin, he can be knocked down easily, but he will always get back up. He knows how to do that, okay, and he knows how to play dirty. So, Ngano cannot win this fight by just trying to bust clean. He's got to be on Autodus. Ngano has one tremendous power. If he's going to utilize the pickable style, it has to be with, with precision, and every punch he throws has to be mean, meaning. You don't waste a, a jab, you don't waste a left hook, you don't wake, waste a straight right hand to the middle, you don't waste a right hook, you don't waste a surprise autodose or not to those, um, let's say, windmill uh, punch, you don't waste anything, you go all in, and every punch you throw has to be mean. And Gano coming from a background that it, that it comes from, of course, the endurance will be there. It's just that in boxing, is a different sport than MMA. MMA you can use sev- like you can usually use several key tactics or elements or skills to arch money for your opponent to take them down and stuff like that and beat them up. In boxing, you only need your hands. And Gano, of course, is a is a guy that wanted that always loved boxing and I've always wanted to box. In fact, boxing was his main. Uh, Spot like his boxing is what he wanted. He wanted to be a, to be a boxer, but the the route to being a, to becoming an elite boxer is very long and frustrating. So he opted for MMA, and now him having his first pro boxing debut uh, match against Tassafiri is a very interesting one. Believe you me, you might count Ngano out and. Like Fury signing a deal with Usyk is all nice or well, but I think it's just like I think it's a form of disrespect. Like he doesn't really regard Gano as a threat. That's why he did that. 
it wouldn't do that if you were if you were to be fighting now let's say like Klitschko again let's say Anthony Joshua let's say it won't seek himself or any any elite boxer so we'll see what Gano has to offer I'm say I'm rooting for Gano okay I'm rooting for Gano for sure because I feel like Gano is story I mean inspired by story um you know coming from where he comes from I can relate to Ngannou's story. I can relate to Ngannou's story. Uh, it, it like, you know, the, the act of resilience, you know, the fact that this guy was literally counted out in everything and came and, 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 and managed to like, got to the top of the mountain and stood his, stood his ground against tyranny, against oppressors who wanted to like use him just like the way they're using a lot of MMA fighters now. Our brother um, Kamaru Usma lost to Islam the other day. Masha Shavai or Makashev. He him losing. Uh, he really, he, he really hurt me. Like seeing Usma um, lose the, that fight. It really did hurt me. Like seeing it. I just couldn't react to it because it was just, it was just. He just. I was just down. Because you've uh, you have seen they've turned literally Usman to uh they are they are trying to turn him into a, a, a guy that like a Johnny Man in a way like like he just hurts like but I believe Usman will be back and there are some things he needs to fix and after that I think he he, he needs to get this motivation back the hunger needs to be back you know I think that's how he will regain his form and reclaim his throne. So guys, what do you make of this fight, fight week, where we'll be watching the fight? And like I said, for those of you guys who have no means of watching this fight, um, just um, follow me on Instagram at um, lord underscore e dot o, or just search for Raymond FL Bede on Instagram. Follow me there, DM me, and then uh, let's do something. Let's bless you guys. For those of you guys who have no means. I said who have no means. Okay. So, we'll see how this plays out, guys. Like if you should subscribe. This fight right here is a must watch. And I'm going to buy the pay-per-view, definitely. Uh, uh, support uh, Francis Gano. Because you have to support a guy like this. A guy that came from, from zero. Like, literally nowhere, you know from the bottom to to the top so you can easily and a guy who also fought off or, or oppressors so in uh, Dana White a lot of you should subscribe God bless you for this word channel cheers guys catch you the next one mm -hmm.